Hey! I'm just uh, gonna shoot out this quick video right here because I'm about to get into my training and I don't want to waste my energy too much. So this is just a quick post-mortem of my 220 kilos five plate deadlift pull that I just did. Uh, I suppose it'll be a couple days uh, ago from the, the making of this particular video and this session. I just wanted, I, I, I expounded upon this when I, in the description of the video, when I did it, but I just wanted to also kind of express it a bit in video form very briefly. So, um, I was not planning on doing that pull that day. I was just going to do my programmed reps that was prescribed for that day with the percentages that I had. So I was gonna pull 185 kilos for uh, a semi am rap set or at least like five reps or something like that. Maybe go for a PR then. I was feeling pre pretty good that day. Um, and which is why I just suddenly decided uh, to, to YOLO pull it and go for a PR. As I alluded on in the post, probably not the smartest thing to do, you know, especially as the weight starts to get bigger, uh, heavier and all that. But just for some reason I felt, hey, let's go for it. Um, so, so I did. Plus uh, I, had, I had company uh, coming over that day and they were, they were staying for the weekend and stuff. So I had to be a good host. Um, so they had just arrived when I was uh, doing my deadlift session. So I thought that was like kind of also an influence as well to do it there. Well, well, if I just work up to a single pull and I hit my goal, hit the single, then I can call the workout there and then I'm done for the day. <laughs> so, and that's what happened. Um, but just to say, um, like I said, that it was totally spur of the moment. I was not planning on going for it that day. I was going to do something lower for reps. And my initial thought was that I was gonna maybe try and do it next month. Um, so go back to maybe maybe doing some uh, heavy single pulls in my program and kind of peak myself and work up to something uh, so I can better prep myself for that pull. Plus, cause I haven't uh, done um, heavy pulls with with uh, raw without straps mixed grip for going on like two months I believe or so now one to two months I've been kind of doing more uh, top set rep sets uh, heavy rep sets with straps um, so I wasn't prepped for this at all I wasn't technically peaked I, I my strength had been coming back as I've, as I've said before but I definitely wasn't fully prepped for that pull at all um, and I could tell as the weight was getting up as I was getting to uh, like 170 plus or so I was feeling like yeah it's definitely uh, feeling a uh, um, tougher than than I've done with it before but I still hit it <laughs> so that, that that's great and that's encouraging right because then that means that uh, I should hopefully have more left in me um, especially, you know, when I've ironed some things out and I'm more prepped and prepared for it. Um, and just also to address that, yes, that, that pull was not very good. I would say I'm, I'm just being brutally honest with myself. It was, it was a very kind of, um, herky jerky pull. My, my 200 kilo pull, my, my last workup set before that one went much better and that, that was like a pretty solid smooth pull I would say but that one I just kind of got lost in the moment really or the echo <laughs> as you could say uh, um, and I just got consumed with adrenaline just got really excited and um, yeah my, my shoulders kind of went over the bar a bit so I was in a not an advantageous position especially since I have like pretty uh, high hips and stuff like that um, and uh, yeah, and then when I did like the, the kind of like the jerk motion, um, I, I, I wasn't as like tight and um, uh, a bit more leaned over than I should have been, which resulted in the, it like, it jumped up pretty quick, but then like I kind of went off kilter and uh, fell forward a bit and then it, 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 it got stuck there for a brief moment. And uh, yeah, that, that would count as a downward motion, so it wouldn't be comp approved, which yeah, is a bummer, I guess, because 
I, I am, uh, I'm not getting totally consumed with trying to get everything exactly comp um, standard, but I would like to eventually try my hand someday at competing, you know? So I'm trying to keep that in mind as I'm training to have that in there a bit, you know, with my training stuff. So like uh, doing like a full stand up at the top and pausing, same with like my, my bench, you know, pausing at a moment before racking it, stuff like that, you know? Um, so yeah, it's not comp, Stand, uh, comp approved and everything like that, but I still did pull it. And and like I said, it's encouraging that, like I said, I wasn't prepared for it. And it, it was it was a pretty, uh, in terms of technique and uh, positioning and stuff like that, uh, not, not that great, but I was still able to complete it. Um, yeah, the, yeah, the only thing, um, when, when I jerked it up and uh, uh, kind of like fell forward a bit. I um, I did kind of like twist forward a bit. <laughs> I'm, I'm like moving along with the camera because I'm a very physical expressor and so like, so it's kind of hard to do that sometimes with the camera. So forgive me, but um, yeah, um, I, I do kind of sometimes twist when I pull because um, I, I have I have a bit a bit of a scol scoliotic uh, scoliosis spine. Um, so my my my. My, my body is is not um, straight, you know, it's a bit off kilter and stuff like that. And I kind of tend to lean to more on one side. So sometimes you see when I pull, I come up and kind of kind of like shift a bit and all that, which is fine. You know, that, that happens a lot of people and it's to be expected with my my, my structure. Um, but yeah, when I, when I tip forward that bit and then like recover to keep going with the pull, um, I, I definitely, it, like my, my right side was, was kicking in more. Um, so yeah, the, the muscles on that side uh, were um, got like a bit stiff after. Where I'm I'm fine now, you know, like no in, no injuries or anything. Um, I'm fine. I just uh, I could I could tell like those muscles they kind of got like a bit overtaxed from having to, to kind of kick into overdrive there. So um, yeah, it, it felt a bit stiff afterwards. Especially I could feel like bending over and stuff. It was like oh this is stiff. So I was just doing, I've done a bit of stretching and um, just treating it with a hot water bottle and stuff like that to like loosen it up. And like I said, the session's about like two days um, after that session. I, w I wanted to do this training session the day after, but because of my comp uh, company staying over and friends and stuff like that, we didn't get to bed until early in the morning. And, you know, so I had like a crap night of sleep and uh, and then they were still over throughout the day and stuff. You, you know, it is a, you can't always have your your life and everything revolve around lifting, right? You know, you gotta have some, it's gotta have some fun and uh, enjoy time with friends and stuff like that, right? So I decided I'll take that that day off, um, and then yeah, I'm, so I'm back from work now. Got got some coffee in me and uh, about to to hit it now uh, for incline bench press. So let's see how that goes today. Um, but yeah, um, as I was just saying to wrap that up, um, I I got um, yeah, like I was a bit tight in there, and it, and it's it's only two days after, and with the with the bit of stretching and the hot water bottle, especially that 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 like that helps quite a bit more than you know. If like you if you feel like your muscles are a bit tight and stuff like that, and bugging you a bit, uh, try try using a hot water bottle. I'll, I'll I might make a separate little short or video on that just kind of but that tip because i also had tight muscles in my my upper back last week and it lasted like a whole week and it was it was hurt my neck a lot and stuff like that um and and i was just treating it with a hot water bottle like and it and it, and it, it worked worked quite well so it, it cut down the recovery time significantly so that's a little side for you um but yeah it's two days later now to finish this off finally um and my, my back is already pretty much feeling back to, to normal. Um, yeah, I'm gonna kind of play it by ear, see it, see how I feel with the squatting and stuff like that. Uh, but but so far I'm feeling pretty good, all things considered. So yeah, and then I'll so I've already hit my minimum goal now with deadlift for this year. I've gotten to five freaking plates, 220 kilos. So earlier than I than I had planned, um, which is great. So let's see what we still have in the tank for the rest of the year. And now I will, I will try and kind of plan things out a bit better and uh, you know, work up and peak for it a bit more. And I got other lifts to push for yet too. So um, yeah, I'll end it there. 
This is already a 10 minute video, so just a little quick post-mortem on the deadlifts. Onwards and upwards, let's keep pushing it.